guys, it's me, your favorite baguette. Today, I have some very, very, very spoiled kids for you. Let's watch. Shopping. It makes me feel happy. I just want like everything. Diamond teeth in your face, fluorescent colors. The must have labels. Okay, first of all, y'all have any idea how much that it costs? Get a little kid Dior, Versace. These kids are literally 12 years old, spending thousands on designer things. Well, y'all should just be playing in a playground. Shouldn't y'all be buying Barbies or something? Chanel handbag. Hold up! Did this little girl really pull out a Chanel bag? Bro, that is a $4,000 bag right there. Who gave that to her? Either y'all parents gotta be loaded, or y'all parents loaded. Man, buying a 12 year old a $4,000 bag, what are you doing? I've already had 150 pounds this week and it's on a Tuesday. This is no way to raise your child. All I do is spend mommy and daddy's money. What about go to school, get good grades, work on your future, work on a career path? No, all I do is spend mommy and daddy's money. Alan, mom, Kelly, and three lucky kids. Did you see the rest of their house? It just looked like a regular house, like a regular family. It doesn't look like anything fancy. And then look at their kids' room. It's all pink, diamonds everywhere, so fancy. It's like they spent their whole life savings on their two daughters. We have got everything they could possibly want. Gizmos and toys. But for 11-year-old Chase, it's all about the clothes. This girl is 11. Did she just pull out a credit card? Did y'all catch the numbers on that? Ah, they blurred it. Man, I wish I was 11. Casually pulls out a debit card. Buy some V-Bucks. What would you buy if you had your parents' credit card? Comment below. She's a beauty pageant winner and she's a designer labelaholic. I've got Ralph, Gucci. I think I've got some Gucci. I think I've got some Gucci. If you had some Gucci, you would know. So, she has won pageants. I think they get money for that. Maybe they're trying to be famous, you know, like Honey Boo Boo. They gotta have this whole lifestyle. The minute they were born, they were all in designer clothes. I wanted my kids to look nice. And they had Burberry clothes, and they had Burberry quilts, and they had Armani, everything. It was ridiculous. From the minute her kids popped out, the doctors wrapped the baby in those generic blankets from the hospital, and the mother is like, no! Refuses to hold the child until it's wrapped with a Burberry blanket. Wow. I mean, mom, you raised some monsters. Why put a baby in designer? Like, unless you show showing off for Instagram or whatever. Like, they don't know what it is. And they're just gonna grow out of it in a few months anyway. Like, I never understood buying designer clothes for your baby. I wear this at school, and grandma bought it for me, because I'm Boiled. How much was it changed? 175. Man, I'm surprised the kids don't rob her at school or something. Look, like wearing a fancy, juicy couture $170 jacket. Y'all so extra. When I ask dad for stuff, it's like, yeah, you can have it, or it's a little argument. I love it a bit. I love all my kids to bits, but I've got high hopes for Chase. It's all you have to give him the face. Daddy, he goes, how much do you need? I'd like 300 pounds time. Wow, imagine asking your parents for money and they give it to you. Like they're like, oh, you're so cute. I love you. You're just such a perfect daughter. Take all of my money. Do y'all not know how to say no? I mean, the kid is nine. What kind of parent can't stand up to a nine-year-old and just be like, no. Man, $300. Girl, what you want? Giving her her own debit card. This is crazy. Your kid is gonna be a mess when they get older. What about when they have to move out, get a job? Like, how are y'all gonna prepare them for the real world when you handing over everything they ever ask for? Should I even have a work for it? Why do you want another Christmas tree? Because I want. I can't even listen to it. You're not having another one. Why not? I've got a pink one, and that is. Yeah, but who the cares? Kids. What child has a Christmas tree in their bedroom? Us. What are we gonna do with the one you've got already? Send it to Africa for the children who have no Christmas trees. <laughs> She wants another Christmas tree in her room. These kids will never make it. They'll never make it in the real world. They're just gonna grow up and end up on Dr. Phil. And then they'll just become famous YouTubers. Al, she wants a new tree for her bedroom. No. Oh, so there is no way you're having another one. You don't need another one. Y'all hear her dad? Literally anything she wants. Yes, queen, here you go. Would you like anything else? I want to know how her parents got so much money. Y'all gotta be in debt or something. We honestly are crap with money. We're a kind of family that we don't have savings. We live every day as it is. We could have loads of bills and still go to bed and sleep. <laughs> I mean, it don't... 
I don't, things like that don't worry me. Oh my god. Big yikes. We don't have any savings. We just spend all our money as it comes. Like, why not? Man, this mother has made some sacrifices. She's out here buying her kids whatever they want, but she can't even buy herself some eyebrows. I'll give them whatever they want. If they wanted uh, a Rolls Royce, I can't give it to them. But if they want a pony or uh, she wants a, an horse and I can give it to them, then I'll give it to them. I can't give them a Rolls Royce because it's a half a million dollar car. But he gonna get him a pony. Man, this dude literally made him money. Like every single dollar he makes, he's spending it on his kids. Look at right on Facebook how much your love horse is. Stuff like that. And I'm, um, you wrote something on Facebook. How happy you'll be and you'll be the best girl in the whole wide world and you'll love us forever. <laughs> Got him! I wish my parents would buy me a pony. I love them so much. I'll be the best girl in the whole wide world. I'll never fight or argue with them again if they just bought me a pony. That's all they have to do. For now. And they gone and went and bought her a pony. That's like every kid's dream. And they actually got it. Swayed her. You see this little girl? She's so rude. Uh, I asked for a pony and you know my parents, they got me one. They're being bad parents because they're making this way too easy for the kids to just get whatever they want. We were always struggling. Somehow we managed to do it. We always managed to do it. And a lot in our family don't like it because what we should be doing is probably putting um, money down for a uh, deposit on a house or whatever. <gasps> They don't even own a house. They don't have any saving. Instead of wasting all of this money on your kids now and just completely spoiling them, they need to put away money for college, for expenses. What if something happens? Do these kids, does this family even have insurance? Like they're so bad with their money. They don't even got a full fridge. They got half a fridge and getting their kid a pony. Man, how much does a pony even cost? So they cost 1,500 all the way to 28,000. I mean, if they got for like 1500 that's like buying a dog I guess but like the cost of having a pony or horses or anything like that is super expensive got one life haven't you and the way we do it is for the kids I just really really love her I can't wait till she's older as well and then I can ride her man this kid isn't even grateful to her parents she's not like mom I love you thank you so much just I can't wait till my pony's bigger so I can ride her I see her like hug her parents once and be like thank you I love you ungrateful ass child you gotta have a saddle you gotta have the saddle stirrups you gotta have the saddle leathers you gotta have the numner that goes under the saddle you gotta have the riding boots you gotta have the show boots you gotta have the mucking out boots that is so expensive y'all don't even think about that you just buy the horse be like okay we'll be okay I hope okay so we got another spoiled kid over here oh these are really cool I spent so much on her because she works really hard and I just feel that she deserves it. So, as a reward, Niaz doesn't mind funding her daughter's handbag obsession. She worked really hard doing what? Going to school? Eating? This girl is 12 years old. What did she work so hard for that her mom got to spend tens of thousands of dollars on handbags for her? So I think all in all, I probably have about 50 different bags. Just quite a lot. My father won. 200 pounds. This is one of my favorite things. Louis Vuitton, 200 pounds. Man, this girl, 12 years old, and got a bigger bag collection than me. My Chanel handbag. It was 1,300, and it was a big surprise. Man, this video must be old, cause that bag is worth like three, four thousand dollars now. The fact that she is a single child makes it easy to be able to spend that kind of money on her. There's no way I'd be able to do it with two of them, absolutely not. You know what, she does have a point, and I was always jealous of my friend, cause she was a single child, and she was hella spoiled. So I mean, she had a really big house, she got everything she ever wanted, she got a car as soon as she turned 16, and me, with two brothers, one sister, we out here struggling. I work really hard and I'm quite grateful. And it's her choice to whether she wants to pay for me. I never really feel guilty spending my parents' money. If your parents are spending thousands of dollars on you, how are you not gonna feel guilty? Oh, wow! She does her homework. Everybody give her a round of applause. We're gonna take you to Louis Vuitton, buy you a thousand dollar bag. Wow, so proud of my child. I mean, hey, if their family has money, okay. Like when I used to get honor roll, my mom would take me to a bookstore and I would get a manga. So I mean, it's good to reward your kid, but I don't know, making it seem like, oh, she did her homework tonight. Let's go shopping. I go to mom when I want something because mum's usually the one who buys me everything.
Mum, please, I just want to have a look around. Okay, you can okay. have a look around. See, that's how they get you. A kid is like, I just want to look. I just want to go somewhere. I don't understand how these families can afford all of this. Like, her handbag collection costs as much as her mom's car. Like, I don't get it. It's like that one girl on that 90 Day Fiance show. She was wearing over $100,000 worth of bracelets, and she was driving a $20,000 car. Oh, that's lovely. I do like that, yeah. So I buy the, the top, top. And one pair of jeans. You can buy one pair of jeans, Big that is it. I think the jeans are 200, 215, I think. Why does a 12 year old need $250 jeans? You got American Eagle, you got Hollister, you got good old Levi, you got Macy's. Kids jeans should be like $50 max, $250, why? Thank you, mommy. You're, you're a very lucky little girl, so you appreciate that. I don't know how people do that. Just spend everything they get. I always look at YouTubers like Trisha Paytas. She spends so much that it gives me anxiety. I don't know, for me, I always want to have money set aside, money in the bank, a savings, 401k, have all my bills paid off, have my house paid off, have zero debt. Like, I can't live like that. I always got to have, like, a backup, you know? Romy's fallen in love with a designer jacket. This doesn't do up. Right, well, if, it, no, then. no, if it's not gonna yeah, do up. I don't want to wear it. Sweetheart, no. Right, first of all, that jacket is hideous. Designer jacket. I swear, you could go to Macy's, Coles, buy that same thing, $19.99 or less. I have a talent in being persuasive, but I think my mum has a talent in being persuaded. Damn, she called her mom easy. Like, I have a talent in persuading, and she has a talent in getting persuaded. Hey! That's a nice way to put it. Like, I get what I want. Yes, I yes, yes. Honestly, really, really, really. Nice. That was a Romy tactic. In other words, mummy, it looks gorgeous on you. And then she's in my wardrobe wearing it. 340 pounds, I think, is what you said. Okay, spent. 340 pounds. Yeah. For that hideous jacket, that's like $400. Who's gonna look at that and be like, wow, $400, I must have it. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. What would you do if these were your kids? Would you spoil them? Would you buy them whatever they want? I wouldn't. And if you guys want a part two on more spoiled kids, make sure you hit that like button in the face. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.